Okay, so this lesson has to do with finite differences. And we've talked a very small amount about it at the very beginning of this unit. Um, that we can tell the degree of a polynomial by how many times we have to take the finite differences before they're all the same. So it says use this table of value to determine the degree, the leading coefficient, and the end behavior. Well, we'll start with the degree. So first we'll just go ahead and find our finite differences. Remember, always taking the second one and subtracting the first one. These are going up in order, so that's all right. Negative 27, subtract negative 67, gives me 40. And then negative 3, subtract negative 27, is 24, positive. And then 5 minus a negative 3 is 8. And then negative 3 minus 5 is negative 8. And negative 27 minus negative 3, negative 24. Don't try to make shortcuts with these because those little negative signs, and then if one thing screws up, the whole thing is gone bad. So 24 minus 40, negative 16, 8, whoops. 8 minus 24, oh good, negative 16, everything's good, negative, yep, that's negative 16, and then negative 16. Okay, so that only took us two sets of finite differences to get our constant finite difference. So we say, therefore, the degree of the polynomial is 2, because it took us two times to get that constant finite difference. So that's the first part of the question. It says the leading coefficient and the end behavior. So now that we found our constant finite differences, is there any relationship between this actual number? We know that the number of times it took us to get it will give us the degree. But does it help us to find the leading coefficient, say, or the end behavior? And the answer is yes. There is a little formula to help us. And the formula is this. The leading coefficient of our polynomial will be equal to the constant differences. So in this case, our constant differences were negative 16, divided by the degree factorial. Now that's a new symbol for us. And factorial just means, like if you have 5 factorial, that little exclamation mark means factorial, it means you have 5 times 4 times 3 times 2 times 1. It means you take your number and you just multiply it all the way down to 1. So in this case, we have our degree factorial is 2. So we have 2 factorial. And our constant difference is negative 16. So altogether, we have negative 16 over 2 times 1. That's not very much. So negative 8. So our leading coefficient is negative 8. And our degree is positive 2. It says give the end behavior. Well, the end behavior will depend on the degree, which is even, meaning it's both up or both down, and negative. So it has a negative leading coefficient. So that means they're both going to be going down. So we would say end behavior as x approaches infinity, f of x will be going down, so it'll be approaching negative infinity. And as x approaches negative infinity, it'll still be going down. x that x will be approaching negative infinity. So that's how we can use these differences to uh, find out about end behavior and degree.